<clears throat> What's going on guys? Uh, JB at Stacks and Packs here. Wanted to do a video on how to uh, submit cards to Beckett uh, BGS for grading or getting them authenticated. Uh, so basically I'm going to show you a card that I'm submitting, um, the form that you're going to fill out, and how the process works. Um, so the card I'm going to go ahead and submit, I'm just going to do one because right now uh, grading is so expensive and um it's just it's 250 dollars for just one card and when you add the auto and everything else you'll see in the end here uh it's a little pricey but uh it is useful with uh cards such as this um it does add a lot more value if it does come back a decent grade so i got this Hedbert perez uh, gold bowman prospect auto numbered out of 50. I uh, hit this on a break over the summer. It's been kind of chilling here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it out, wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, and get it ready uh, to be sent over to Beckett. So you go ahead and I'm just going to use some gloves. So you don't want to get any of your fingerprints any kind of uh, smudges on it when you send it in uh, to Beckett <clears throat> and then uh, you're also going to want to have some semi-rigid uh, card holders these are ultra pro um, that's what we're going to be placing the card in once we're done uh, wiping it down um, so the cloth I'm using is Premium microfiber cloth. Uh, I got these off of Amazon. I like the oversized ones, so I'll show you how I do it. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it out just like this. Make sure it's straight. Now we're going to get the card out. <clears throat> So first of all, you're going to want to make sure you're submitting a car that's worthy of grading, of course. So you're going to want to check out the centering, uh, left to right, top to bottom. Um, this card looks really good. And if you hold it at an angle in the light, you can kind of see if there's any surface issues. This one looks really clean. And then check the corners too. I want to check the corners out and the auto. I'm going to grade the auto as well. Flip the card over, same thing. Uh, check out the centering top to bottom and left to right. Surface, see if you can see any dings or creases with the glaring light. And then try to see if you can check out the corners. And I've already inspected this card before, but I'm just showing you guys how I go about looking cards over before I decide if it's worth grading or not. So I'm going to take the card now and put it kind of in the middle of the cloth. And then I take the bottom left corner and just kind of put it over the corner on the bottom left of the card. <clears throat> the bottom right of the cloth I take and kind of fold over. And you don't want to go too far because you don't want to um, catch this corner. So I'm just going to take it and kind of uh, just in a small circular motion not like too hard, not anything crazy. Just kind of like start at the top, close to the edge, but not all the way to the corner because you don't want to catch the corner and just kind of go like this. And then on the corners, you're going to go out. So you're going to go like that. Just kind of wipe towards the corner 
so you don't catch the corner. Same thing with the other side. Fold the corner back in. Be very careful not to overfold it. And just kind of, and you, you don't want to go over the auto, so make sure that you're not going too far down and going over his autograph. And then just kind of wipe out on the edge of the corner. Same thing um, on the bottom, you can just take the bottom corner, just kind of barely hold the top down there. And you got your gloves on, so it's not gonna do any damage. Fresh gloves. And then just kind of wipe down like this towards the corner and out. And uh, everybody has different methods. This is how I do mine. So if you don't want to do it like this, you don't have to. Use a smaller cloth. Don't go over the auto. Just stay away from the auto. You don't want to um, wipe any of the auto off or scratch it or anything like that. Then I'll just tilt the card and kind of go around the bottom here. Wipe towards the corner. Wipe that corner down here. Let's check it out real quick. Beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab me a sleeve. Got a regular card sleeves here. Ultra Pro. Just to make sure uh, the corner doesn't get dinged or anything, I'm just going to slice the edge just to kind of give it a nice way to slide it in there. So slide it in. There we go. Down. And then grab your rigid, Ultra Pro rigid uh, card saver and uh, Put it in there. Just gonna very carefully squeeze the edges here and slide it down until it is past the uh, line there. All right, that card is not gonna go anywhere. I also go one extra step further and get a regular team bag and put it inside the team bag and then just seal it just for extra precautionaries Make sure it's all the way at the bottom take the thing off and there we go all right so now He's ready to be sent off to grading. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go to Beckett and get the form and I'm gonna show you what you need to do from here. All right. Okay, so you're gonna go to uh, Beckett.com. Go to your Beckett.com. <clears throat> if you don't have an account uh, set up, you're gonna have to make an account. And then you're gonna go to submission form. Um, I've tried the online grading form and I've seen others have had issues with it freezing or not working properly. So I'm just gonna print the submission form out and do it that way. So go to submission form and hit download. 
And of course, if you're doing uh, the sheet only has 13 spots. So if you're doing more than 13 uh, with your order, you're going to want to print more than um, one sheet. So make sure you know how many cards you're sending in because once you print it, you want that order number uh, up here to be the same. So I've already got a sheet printed out here and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it filled out. Let's grab the sheet. Um, and this is the part where uh, people get really overwhelmed uh, about sending stuff in and they're afraid if they make a mistake um, that uh, they're not going to get their cards back or their cards are going to get lost. But don't get overwhelmed with the form. It's a lot easier than people think. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So, got the form printed out. All right, so you're going to want to fill your name in. And if it's your first time ever sending to Beckett, um, you won't have an account number. So don't worry about filling out the account number. They will assign you one. Um, of course, you're going to want to put your name, address, city, state, zip, phone, email. And then how are you sending or how do you want your package um, sent back? So if you want it... Um, sent overnight you can check that however you want them to send it back um, this is just for the Beckett team use only so once you get this filled out go down to line one so sport um, you can abbreviate when you are filling the form out so we're gonna put MLB Uh, quantity one it is a Bowman Chrome 2021 so 21 and Bowman Chrome for set name put Bowman Chrome uh, the card number this one is actually uh, letters. So we're gonna use the CPA HP. And just try to squeeze it in that box. It's not, if Beckett can't read it, they can look it up. CPA HP. All right, card player, card slash player name. Um, Hedbert Perez. And the declared value, that's going to be the value that it's declared at after it's graded. <clears throat> so you can kind of look at comps and stuff. Uh, use 130point.com. Go to sold listings on eBay and look it up and see um, if you can find any that have sold. Um, just kind of guessing what grade you might get. Uh, I'm just going to put around 2000 for this. Um, it could be higher, it could be lower, but just kind of guesstimate what um, pricing it is. And this is just uh, for insurance purposes in case something happens to the card. That's what I would get back if I pay for the uh, insurance, which I will on this card. Okay, so we're done with that line. Now we're going to move down. Okay, I don't have any more cards, but if you did, Say if you had a basketball, NBA, football, NFL, um, if you have three of the same card, you can just write three and then do it that way. You're going to add all your quantity up down here. We just got one. And then down here, um, these two little check boxes, it's hard to see on, uh, it's really small, but the first one says by checking this box, 
Your cards will be given a numeric grade if possible, but if the cards are deemed to be altered, slash trimmed, recolored, etc., we will seal and authenticate the cards in a standard Beckett authentic altered case, which I don't need that, so I'm not going to check the box. And then the second box says, by checking this box, your cards will only be authenticated. Your cards will not receive a numeric grade, but will be placed into a Beckett holder and labeled as authentic if they are deemed to be authentic. Standard grading fees apply for the service. So I don't want that one either. So I'm not going to check either box. Um, I want the card graded. Not uh, put into an authentic. Um, and then down here, we are going to do the $250 per card. Okay, so I want subgrades. So if you're new to the hobby or just grading overall, here's the difference. Um, I got two examples here. So I got this Zion. Um, the subgrades are the grades right here where it says um, centering, uh, corners, edges, surface. So each category has a grade on it um, that's what I'm looking for that's what I want on this card so I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, premium service now if you do the premium service with the no subgrades they're only 125 here's a Danny Dimes Daniel Jones with the no subgrades it is a 95 but you're not sure you know what the corner grade is the surface um, anything like that so it's up to you um, if you want to have those or not I like um, having the subgrade so I'm gonna do the 250 um, like I said there's other services that are not available at this time just because the grading industry is so swamped with uh, trying to catch up on all the cards that are behind uh for grading um let's see so we're going to go over here to calculating the amount to be paid so total number of cards one the grading fee per card is 250 dollars so we'll go ahead and put 250 Multiply line two by one. That's of course, if you're doing a lot of multiple cards, we just got one, two, fifty. Add $2 if you want, or add $2 for each certified autograph card. So that's if you want the autograph graded. And I do want the autograph graded. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the $2. Um, oversized item, I, it's not oversized. So just put zero. Return insurance. So this is where um, that part is on the back. So return insurance. So if I valued that card at 2000, the insurance is gonna be $24 uh, for the return insurance. So I'm gonna write 24 and then return postage um, so let's see postage um, let's see if you want say I want the card sent back um, next day service one to ten cards is 55 bucks which I am gonna go ahead and do that I like to have my stuff sent back immediately as soon as it does get graded. So I want to make sure that at the top here that I check the priority overnight. And I'm going to go ahead and add that $55. And then uh, Texas residents, uh, you have to add 8.25 sales tax. I'm in Illinois, so I don't need to do that. Zero. And then you're going to add lines three, four, five, six, and seven. 
So let's see, let's get the calculator out. We have 331. 331. All right, so then you got your payment. Um, you can send a uh, check, money order, don't send cash. Um, if you're using a card, fill all that information out, sign. And then over here, you're going to um, agree to the terms and conditions, sign and date. Uh, today is the 28th. All right, so your form is ready. I'm not going to fill all of this uh, personal info out, just uh, showing you how to get to this stage. So once you're at this stage, and I'm going to put the address up real quick where um, you're sending the card. You can find it on the site, but here's uh, where the uh, card is going to be sent to. You can screenshot that or save it. It's just easier if I just give it to you on the video so you have it. All right. Um, as far as um, estimated time, like I said, the hobby right now is so crazy and backed up. Um, Beckett has on their website estimated turnaround times. I'll show you those real quick. Um, so for the service I'm using premium submissions approximately 10 to 15 business days now I'm not expecting that at all I'm expecting longer um, so I would not go by these um, but that is what is on their website right now <clears throat> so once you have the um, form filled out and you've got your card ready to be packaged up. You're gonna to wanna to take uh, the form and uh, fold it in half. And fold it again here. Now, now what I do is I grab my card and I put it in between uh, two pieces of cardboard. So I got a couple pieces of cardboard all ready to go. So I'm gonna put him in between the cardboard here. Let's see. And then uh, put a rubber band over it, going across it, and then top to bottom. It's not too tight. It's not smashing the card, it's just keeping them secure. And then you can fold this again if you want. Put it in there like this. All right. So now I'm gonna grab a box using. Uh, this is way too big of a box for just a single card, but this is just an example. So I've got my regional rate box in, uh, A here. Got a padded uh, six by 10 on the bottom. I'm gonna take this uh, card, put it in another envelope like so. 
too much packaging for just one card. Um, then I have our handy little packaging bubbles. shipping tape to seal it, make sure it doesn't move around, and then one more time for that address that you're sending it to, bam, and um, we'll see what happens when it comes back. Uh, I'll update the grade that we get on the card <clears throat> and how long it took to get the card back. Um, if you guys are new or you have not subscribed, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell uh, for uh, notifications when I do post any videos. Uh, I'll, I have sent the PS, PSA before, so I'll, in the future I'll make a PSA video as well on sending in the PSA for grading. Um, like I said, don't be overwhelmed by it. It's really easy. It's... Uh, something that you wanted to make sure you know how to do uh, in the future for yourself because uh, you can't always trust everybody out there i know there's a lot of subgroups and stuff but hey if you send a card in that's not numbered how do you know that you're getting the same card back you know people are just scared to send stuff in on their own it's just overwhelming and you want to make sure that the card that you send in is the card that you get back so i hope you guys like the video uh, like I said, my name's JB at Stacks and Packs. Check my site out, stacksandpacks.org. And thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.